Okay, well, the Anderson community coming together to find a lost puppy. So, Zoe Buchanan shared her story with us today, and she had her new puppy, Bentley, for just five days when he escaped her car early Wednesday morning <laughs> and took off. So, Zoe posted in the Watchful Eyes of Anderson Township group on Facebook, and it exploded. It had over 1,000 likes and shares in less than 24 hours, and by Thursday, more than 200 people were out looking for him and updating the posts with sightings. Someone even spotted him on their ring cam hall, while others stayed out until 10.30 at night, knocking on doors and making their own missing puppy signs, and he was missing for all, for all of one day when he was finally spotted near a bike trail. Mm. So Zoe brought her other dog down to kind of try to get him and Bentley immediately out, and they ran out to play. <laughs> well, Zoe telling WLWT, quote, never in my life have I seen the community being so selfless and come together to a mutual agreement on something finding the puppy. I'm so thankful for my community and it gives me so much joy to see us coming together. That is so nice because I think as a dog owner, owner one of your worst fears is potentially seeing the dog just escape and you mm -hmm. don't know what you can do and you feel like a failed pet parent because your dog, yeah, exactly. Um, so it's so nice to know that the community will come together and help out like that. It breaks my heart when I see them missing oh, I know. cat or dog signs across my neighborhood. So I'm really glad that this one turned out yeah. well. And yeah. I mean, clearly, you know, Zoe has the Huskies and so she knows they are known to be runners. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, they, they can be hard, right? Mm -hmm. When yeah. you have those bigger dogs that just love to get out there and run, run, run. So, yeah. so glad the community was able to come together and help you find. And can her. I say those uh, Facebook groups and neighborhood Amazing. apps are a game changer, seriously. Yes. I mean, they really do spread the word pretty quickly about whatever is happening, good or bad, in the neighborhood. Yeah. I've seen everything from, <laughs> yes. even I was on one Facebook page the other day, a teacher reaching out saying like, hey, I have to make it through the end of the school year. Uh -huh. I don't have any more glue sticks left. Anybody willing to donate? And she had oh. people messaging her saying, here, I just Amazon some to your oh house. Oh my God, now stuff. that gives me chills. Right? I love that. But we always say, this is the thing about social media. So often we hear the bad, but then there are these mm -hmm. great stories. Mm -hmm.